and welcome in to my channel. I hope you fellas and ladies are all having a nice morning this morning. I certainly am. I just picked up my trailer here at the Panners Yard and now we're gonna put the hammer down towards Dryden, Ontario. I got an empty trailer as I was saying and we're gonna go over to Dryden, Ontario and we will be trailer switching over there and then we're going to a place in Michigan. I mean uh, Wisconsin, it's right on the Michigan border. Wisconsin, Michigan border. So that's why I had Michigan in my head. But anyways, let's get going. Here we go. Just leaving Steinbach. Yep. Anyways, as you guys probably saw on yesterday's video, that uh, strap was really expensive, right? I mean, I could not believe for the life of me that that would be so expensive. I thought maybe two, three hundred bucks. But $975, I could not believe it. So just note yourself, if you're getting into your own truck, you ain't gonna make that much more money than a, as a company driver. I can almost guarantee you that. At the beginning, your paychecks are gonna look like big paychecks but just be prepared don't spend that money because I spent $1,500 on uh, fixing my uh, manifold uh, last week and I spent another $1,400 this week trying to fix some air leaks and uh, also replace that strap so you know, twenty nine hundred dollars later in two weeks. You know, that's more than I like to spend in a month. You know, I had planned for fifteen hundred dollars a month at the beginning when I got the truck. I thought you know fifteen hundred dollars a month should be should be pretty good. But nope, not even close. Yeah. I'm really struggling on money this last little while, you know, just Christmas and then over Christmas I had some air leaks already, I had to fix those, it cost me about $1,500 there around Christmas time already and, uh, you know, right after Christmas here, you know, I mean, this last week I spent, you know, $1,500 and this week $1,400, so Hopefully we will have peace now for the uh, for the next three months so I can pay for all this stuff. Anyways, and then there's tax season, you know. Tax is just around the corner. Up here in uh, Canada, we uh, we pay taxes. Uh, well, usually personal taxes is usually due by the end of April, I think, but. The end of February we get our T4 forms and then we can go to our accounts and fill that all out and do all that stuff, you know. Anyways, we got a little bit of an airport here on the on the right here. Yeah, just a tiny little airport there. But. Anyways, let's put the hammer down. And we will be in Dryden here in about three and a half hours. Here we are. We are entering Ontario. Right there it says, Welcome to Ontario. Crossing border. Entering yep. Ontario. That's it. We are officially in Ontario. Got another two hours to go and we will be in Dryden, Ontario. Right here it says how much a speed limit tickets would cost you. And a little bit further down the road, we got a sign up here saying that we got to uh, use speed limiters if we want to drive in here in, Can in uh, Ontario. That's pretty much just Ontario and Quebec that I know of that have that law. That big trucks have to be uh, governored at 105 kilometers an hour, which is uh, 65 miles an hour. Oh well. That's just life up here in Canada. Well, I think just on the road here, I think they got that sign. They used to at least have that sign up here. 
Anyways, yeah, they also have lower speed limits up here as soon as we go into uh, into Ontario here, but no, I don't blame him. It's a rocky up here and zigzagging everywhere, you know, up and down and all that fun stuff, you know. But anyways, it's a beautiful day out here to drive today. Nice sunshine. It's not super windy at least. Good fuel mileage, that's for sure. Yep. Yeah, here it is. Speed measuring devices. Yep. Oh, well. We are in Dryden. We just finished switching trailers. Now we are going to go ahead and scale this load. See what our damage is today. And it obviously is in kg, so we're gonna have to in kilos. So we're gonna have to convert that to pounds. 5470. 5470. Yeah, 12,059 pounds. Alright. That's not bad. Yeah. Let's get the tractor axle on here we got to scale everything separate up here so that way we have a axle weight and well, we know what our weight is you know there we go so we got 28 and let's make that 2900 all right Anyways, we'll scale this load here and then we'll see if we're legal. If we are, then we can continue, right? I'm pretty sure it's gonna be. Well, we are sitting at 15,430 kgs on, uh, on the drive. So let's see what that comes out to. 13,430. Yeah, 34,070 pounds. 17 pounds, I mean. 34... 17 Yeah, so we're right there right on the maximum so The trailer axle is probably A little lighter than the tractor axle is. We'll figure this out 35,500 yeah, We'll say 20 pounds at uh, kilos I mean total so let's see what do we got here 35,520 kgs minus 2,900 so that is 14,620 kilos so that's what I thought it would be light on the trailer it almost always says so 32,230 pounds yeah so we can make this happen no problem yep we'll go park over there and then uh, call it in that we picked up our trailer because at this place we gotta call them and let them know that we picked up the trailer now we'll make our way to the border. Fort Francis, Ontario. And here to the left is a little bit of a lake or a river, whatever you want to call it. I filmed this uh, in summertime. And uh, I told you guys that on the other side is the United States and on this side is Canada. And look at the, the difference. Front Street. What it looks like in summer compared to winter, eh? Looks completely different. Yeah. That's not a long way to cross the border, right? <laughs> yeah. Summertime might be okay, I guess, to cross, but winter time would be difficult. Anyways, we're about a few miles away from the border. 
where we actually cross and this border is called International Falls, Minnesota and uh, you guys have seen it before if you are a long time subscriber if not you're gonna get to see something real cool so stay tuned for that this is it we are going to show you something that you wouldn't expect, probably. You see this railway crossing right here? That's what the sign says. Trucks got to go right on here. Yep. We are going to be entering Minnesota here any second now. Yep. I bet you you never expect to cross like this if you're not a truck driver or even if you're a truck driver and you never crossed up here yet you probably wouldn't expect to cross like this would you crossing border entering Minnesota yep that's it entering Minnesota in 1,000 feet turn yeah. right up second Avenue so we'll see you guys on the other side we just had ourselves a little bit of a pit stop up here in Cook Minnesota they got a uh, McDonald's here that's got truck parking there. It's a parking for about five trucks. So we had ourselves a bite to eat here at the McDonald's and I'm gonna go get that on the road. Yep. We already got ourselves a reload offer. Not too excited about it, but hey. Oh well, that's the way it goes with trucking sometimes, you're not always excited about every load, but yeah, we'll probably do it. They want me to pick up a load here in uh, Wisconsin somewhere and then uh, go to Saskatoon with the load. Yeah, I wanted to go to Toronto and then back, but... They want me to go to Saskatoon, so we'll see, we'll see. We got another hour and a half and we will be in Superior, Wisconsin. I'll probably be spending the night over there. At least that's what I'm thinking of doing. But anyways, it's starting to get dark out here, so we shall see you later on. Well, the day is officially over. We have had a good day worth of driving today. I got me 900 kilometers in today, which is probably about 580 miles or something like that. And we are in Ashland, Wisconsin on Highway 2. Yeah, it's a little bit of a shopping mall area up here or whatever, shopping strip or something like that. And I saw a truck park right here. I don't know if you're going to be able to see him over there, but he's parked right there, so I figured, eh, he's probably, uh, yeah, he's actually from Superior, Wisconsin, so he's just from down the road, so he's probably very familiar with this area, so I figured, ah, he probably knows that we're allowed to park up here, so I figured I'll park here as well. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, we're going to go get ready to go to bed because we got to get up early tomorrow morning as soon as we can and put the hammer down to go do our delivery so with that we shall see you guys again tomorrow at 5 a.m thanks for watching